Hey there, grade five. Today we're learning uh, about literary elements. Uh, these ones in particular are metaphors, similes, and smileys. Well, mostly not smileys, but uh, metaphors and similes we'll definitely get into. So, what is a metaphor, you might ask, and why should you care? Or you'd ask it, why should I care? Uh, well, it's good that you ask. Metaphors are tools for writing, like swords are tools for war, or of war. They both are powerful ways to communicate. Metaphors are used to provide clarity by transferring meaning from one word and image to another. Swords are used to clarify your intentions of beating someone. When I say metaphors are tools, I'm actually relying on metaphor to get my point across, right? When I say metaphors equal tools, you are actually probably thinking in one way or another of tools as in implements that people use, right? To build things, to do stuff. Uh, and so we think of physical objects uh, often. Um, and so, yeah, what, what I'm saying there is a metaphor is something that helps you to uh, build your image uh, that you are trying to create and build the sentence or the, yeah, what you're, the idea that you are trying to communicate to someone else. And good communication fosters shared understanding, right? So the words that I choose to use to share my understanding with you uh, need to actually paint the picture that I want it to paint. And metaphors are really good at doing this. They put that picture in our head. Um, and the Bible is full of these images, right? We have the Lord is my rock. And what does that mean? Well, rocks are sturdy and solid. And uh, yeah, what we're saying is that the Lord is solid and sturdy as well, right? We're not saying that my the Lord is a physical rock. Um, that would be a blasphemy if we were saying it literally, right? That he is a rock. Um, what we mean is that he is like a rock in certain respects, right? We're taking some characteristics of the rock and applying it to God, um, saying that he is solid and sturdy and something that we can build upon, right? Uh, yeah, his his foundation is strong. Um, we have the Lord is my shepherd, right? Shepherds are what they're caring defenders of their flocks, right? They they will fight to protect their flocks against uh, wolves and uh, I guess yeah, lions or whatever is uh, trying to get their little little sheep's. They'll fight them, right? And they care for their animals. Um, and what we're saying when we say that is that the Lord is a caring defender. He looks after us and takes care of us and defends us against our enemies, right? So that is what we're saying. We're not saying that he is literally a guy with a cane and he's walking around with a sheep. No, <laughs> he is um, He is taking on some, we're putting some of the characteristics of a shepherd and saying, applying that um, to God to create an image that people can understand, right? Um, so those are, and the Bible is full of many more metaphors, right? Jesus talks with tons of metaphors. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, right? Jesus is not an actual door with a handle and hinges, but he's our way to salvation, right? It's by going through Jesus that we are saved, right? We are not saved um, by our own means, by, uh, you know, coming to God by ourselves, but by going through Jesus, right? And Jesus lived the righteous life for us and it's through him that we are uh, yeah, made righteous and we can come to God um, this bread is my body given up for you right what we're saying here is that the bought the bread that we're eating on the Lord's Day uh, is not his actual body it uh, but it makes us think of his body right which he gave up for us um, right? it's to, to for remembrance um, and this wine is my blood poured out for you. Again, the same thing. The wine isn't actually his blood. It makes us think of his blood, which he poured out for our sins, right? So these, uh, these are like real world metaphors that are supposed to uh, bring our minds to something else, right? They're, uh, you know, they're kind of like doorways, uh, which would be a simile, <laughs> to uh, an understanding, right? We, whenever we see that bread, uh, and we take it, we are thinking of Jesus on the, the cross um, for our sins, right? And the blood is the same thing, right? He poured out his blood for our sins. And these things, uh, yeah, we get nourished through that. And, uh, yeah, the Lord is constantly nourishing us um, through his 
word. Um, here's a little metaphorical poem. So a man is a tumbleweed blown to and fro. Man's word is mercury, slippery does it flow. Man is a viper coiled to bite. Man's way upon earth is a blight. The Lord is a rock standing firm in the storm. His word is sturdy steel, a solid promise does it form. Jesus is the shepherd whose staff we can trust. This bread is his body given up for us. Right. So in that uh, poem, every line basically has a uh, has a metaphor in it. Um, yeah. In every part there, we're not saying that man is actually a tumbleweed or he's, his word is actually mercury, which is a, an element that is very like if you. You shouldn't hold mercury probably because it's got some toxic elements, but uh, it's quite slippery substance. Uh, you know, man isn't actually a viper, but often men will bite you in a you know another way, right? They'll uh, come at come at you, uh, backbiting and fighting, right? Um, and man's way upon earth is uh, blight, right? Blight is a virus or a, yeah for or a disease for potatoes and other vegetables, right? And um, what it's saying here is that uh, man isn't actually a disease, but his ways are often uh, like a disease, right? And then we characterize the Lord in a different way as a rock, and his word is sturdy steel, and Jesus the shepherd, and the bread being his body, right? These are all metaphors. Um, and we can also see the juxtaposition there, which is another literary um, technique, right? So in this poem, you see the uh, kind of the evil of man versus the goodness of the Lord, right? And they're put side by side, and you see just how good the Lord is and just how evil uh, man is, and you wouldn't get that picture unless you put them side by side. So that's juxtaposition thrown in extra free of charge. Um, similes, basically simple metaphors using like or as to make the comparison. So here you see a whole bunch of similes. Uh, busy as a bee, sparkles like diamonds, hungry as bear, flat as pancake, hard as rock. He crept into the room as quiet as a mouse. The cloud was fluffy like cotton candy. Snowflakes sparkled like millions of tiny diamonds. He was as angry as a grizzly bear, right? Those are all similes. You see, they're basically, they make this comparison using these keywords, like or as. So if you ever see uh, on a worksheet, uh, that you're asked about similes versus metaphor. If you see like or as, you know, bang, 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 bang. these are similes, not metaphors. Metaphors use the word is, right? They actually say this thing is. And so in a sense, it makes it a bit more strong and sturdy, right? It's a, you're really making this comparison. Like kind of provides this, you know, it's similar to, right? Simile, similar. But metaphor is like a bit more forceful. Um, so hopefully that helps you remember that. And finally, the smiles, right? Language is something worth smiling about. Writing is an art, and writers employ tools to create their masterpieces, right? Uh, yeah, language is beautiful and is a blessing from the Lord. And as Christians, we have a special duty to bring the light of the gospel to bear on a fallen world. And it is our faculties for language that will do that. Bring glory to God by employing yourself to further the kingdom, resting in his finished work uh, in Christ, uh, which allows you to love God out of thankfulness and serve your neighbor. And you can serve him uh, through the talents and gifts the Lord gave you. And right now, as students, you can serve him by being diligent in your studies and, uh, yeah, just seeking to understand the language that you're being taught and to try and employ these tools that you're getting to learn. Anyways, guys, I hope you uh, were able to take some, some knowledge from that and that you enjoyed this short lesson. Bye-bye.